Hello, welcome to my kitchen. Today is Thursday, so we're making vegan tacos. So for this recipe, you're gonna need jackfruit. You can get this at Trader Joe's. Some tortillas, I'm using yellow corn because they're my fave. Vegan cheese. We're also gonna be making a little mango pico de gallo Ooh. slash salsa. You're gonna need a ripe mango. Onions, you can use uh, regular onions, yellow onions, or you can use white onions. But I'm using red onions or purple as Miss Tabitha says. Tomatoes, some olive oil, and also limes. So for seasonings, we're gonna use salt, garlic, onion powder, paprika, chili powder, that one's optional, and cumin, and oregano, and also cilantro. <laughs> but if you're too lazy to get all those things, you can get this. I got the McCormick Mild Taco Seasoning. And if you do get taco seasoning, make sure that it doesn't have lactose in the ingredients because that's milk. So first step is prepping. That's gonna take the longest time out of everything. I already opened this can. I got a little injury. Can openers are my nemesis, it's fine. After you get this pesky little can open, you're gonna to wanna to drain all the jackfruit. I just took a paper towel and I just squeezed it until all the juices came out. After that, we're gonna dump the jackfruit into the container and then we're gonna put olive oil on it and the seasoning. So I used the taco seasoning and some oregano. I would say one to two tablespoons of the seasoning. There are different measurements for if you're doing it individually in the description. Don't try the jackfruit on its own. It is not good. I'm just letting you know. You really just wanna rub it into the jackfruit so the flavor can seep through when you're cooking it. Don't forget to put love in there. <laughs> With the seasonings. So as you can see, they're well coated. Put a lid on it and put it in the fridge for about one to two hours. If you can do it overnight, that's even better. Also, don't judge my nails, they're transitioning. Next, we're gonna be making the mango pico. Make sure you get a right mango, wash it off. And now, we're gonna try cut it. I looked it up online, so hopefully it goes well. <laughs> We're gonna cut it like this, down the middle, to where the seed is. Okay. <laughs> where it is, beautiful. And then you're just gonna make little slices inside of the mango. We're using a whole mango. You'll, you'll see why we need to correct this in the next one. Yeah, so we don't want any of the peel kind of gross to be honest. Okay, so for this mango, or this side of the mango, we are gonna do it a little differently so we don't have to cut off the peel. I'm just going to uh, peel off the skin with the knife and then we're gonna chop up the mango. Oh yeah. Same method that we did the first time on the peeled mango, it was gonna go so much smoother. Oh my gosh, we're learning, yay. <laughs> I've been informed that Taco Thursday isn't really a thing, so we're making it a thing. So now I'm gonna transfer the mango into the bowl and wait for the rest of the contents. Now we're gonna chop up the tomatoes and onions. For whatever reason, uh, my tomatoes came like this. They're ripe, but that's just how the store sold them. I don't know, they're like a special kind. If you're using smaller tomatoes, like cherry tomatoes, I would suggest six to seven. If you're using Roma tomatoes, I would maybe suggest two, or maybe two and a half. If you're using regular tomatoes, I would say maybe one and a half to two. So I learned this fun fact on TikTok on how to dice onions. If you slice them horizontally along the rim, I mean, obviously you have a whole onion, you have to cut it in half and then do that. So you slice it horizontally and then you cut them vertically, and you get little diced onions. All naturally. Isn't that amazing? Okay, so we washed them off. Now we're gonna add them to our mango salsa. I am not a huge onion person, so I only did a couple of chops, but you can do more if that suits your fancy. So we put the tomatoes, mango, and onions in there. We're gonna squeeze some lime and add some cilantro. And add a little olive oil to your mixture. This is the real start of the show right here. Only squeeze half a lime onto it, and then we're gonna use the other half for the tacos later. We're gonna put the rest in the fridge, let it marinate while we're cooking. All right, it's been about two hours. 
So now we're gonna cook the jackfruit. Now, you don't have to add cheese, but this is a crucial part. If you wanna add cheese, we're gonna mix it in while it's cooking on the stove top. So we're gonna add a little oil to the pan. Mix that around. You can use the oil of your choice. Now, we add the jackfruit. Cheers. The beauty of jackfruit, it doesn't take really long to cook. It might take five minutes. And we're just gonna cook it and make sure that the cheese melts. That's important. I'm sure it's not so good. Last step, which is also optional, I'm gonna take the tortillas. I'm only using one for taco. And then you're just gonna put them onto the pan while it's still hot, flip it both sides, just to make it a little warm and toasty. Extra delicious. So here they are. I'm honestly so excited. I'm gonna squeeze a little bit more lime over it. Oh yeah. Kinda cheated because I got these little salsa. So it's a salsa verde, salsa rojo. You do what you want <laughs> for your sauces. I'm gonna try it with and without. Let's get into it. Now I'm just eating oh my god. Alright, let's try with the sauces. Honestly, it doesn't even need sauce. 